Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. When we're waiting for people to get on, just some of the announcements today. Today I did a rerun of, I believe, episode four called uh, This Is Going To Be Good. This is the this is really a good one. This is the, where you met Roberto Monaco, speaking coach, where we just kind of got together and said, listen, we got this hero idea. And let's put together some keynote, let's get it together. You know, un again, not knowing, you know, there's all these unknowns and we went about it, so you got to see that. It was really, uh, it was really great looking back on that. So allow that to leave a blueprint for you to know that what it, whatever it is you want to do, or you're feeling led to do, put put action, start moving, put energy behind it. If you think about it, all you're going to do is get anxiety, frustration. But just start moving. Write it down. You know, take notes on your phone. Do something because I think that that momentum, that action starts the process. It gets the ball rolling. It'll never be as fast as you want it to, but it definitely gets it going. And you can see how momentum picks up in as little as, uh, you know, 16 weeks. Uh, we were able to create an entire movement, which was the, the We Are Heroes, the I Am Hero thing. So just check that out. And uh, if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check it out on Facebook, at the Dr. Zeno page. And uh, also, you can go to YouTube, and they're all there. Just go to Dr. Zane on YouTube. You have all the 15-Minute Fuels. You have all the We Are Heroes shows as well. All right, so today, we're going to talk about, I'm going to call this, it's not my, I'm going to just call it the Zane Lives. But I really, I was doing some thinking, and the deal is this. Because remember, there's so many programs, books, products. Everybody wants to, tell, to do what? Everything is sold to us saying it's going to take less time, you're not going to have to work, and it's going to be really cheap, right? That's what people do. They, 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 don't, they, they don't want to work. They want it for nothing or really cheap, and uh, it, it happens really fast, okay? Because that's what things are sold on. So, I, I mean, I could use that equation for dieting. I could use that equation for, for getting wealth, for you know, getting a relationship, whatever it is. So you notice that there are the three main hot buttons that people get hooked on. In fact, that's the, the top searched words. How do I lose weight fast with no work or out dieting? Right? You, you see these things. So uh, marketers prey on it. So I'm actually going to take it around and say, listen, if you clear all the stuff away, if you could embrace one truth and own this truth, it'll change your future. And that's this. Anything you do in your life that's worth anything to you, that's going to make an impact in your life or anywhere, it's going to take a crap load of time, a hell of a lot of work, and every bit of uh, monetary resources you have, even borrowing for it. That's it. Let's, let's just set, let's understand the truth. Once we get this truth and stop wishing and fishing, listen, it hasn't changed for thousands of years. Once you understand that whatever goal I want to attain, that's going to be beyond mediocre. Anything we want in our life, it's going to take a, a crap load of work. It's going to take time and it's going to take a lot of money to the point where you might even have to borrow for it, but it's fine. And, and watch, and, 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 and you know what? You're never going to escape this. Let me talk about health for a second because that's what I got to deal with. And so in my office, they'll have someone and I'll show them their problems. So let's say your spine should be like that and it's like that, okay? Or let's say you, you saw a tumor on an x-ray or, or let, you saw a problem, like you clearly saw it. And I'll parallel that with, um, you know, you looked at your car and it had seven nails in the tires and the brake line was leaking. Let's just, uh, the, 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 the punchline is there is a definite problem that you can't not see, right? It's there, you're looking at it. That's your car. More importantly, that's your body. All right. Now, for someone to say they don't have the time or the money, or say that's really expensive to fix, understand that if you don't fix your problem, it's gonna you're gonna lose time, right? So you're gonna lose time. Quality. If it's your health, you're gonna lose time. You're gonna die earlier, right? If your health goes, so you're gonna lose time. You're gonna lose quality of life. So there's your time. Um, work, you know, a lot of people think, well, to take care of their health, to eating better or making proactive decisions and choices, it takes a lot of work. Well, I got to eat, then I got to cook this stuff, and then I got to buy this expensive organic food. Okay. But here's the thing. If you knew someone that 
lost their health and they're in pain or they can't walk because they lost their health, that if you think prepping your meals is work and spending a few extra bucks for organic food is work, have you ever been in pain where it took you an hour just to get to the bathroom? That's a friggin' lot of work. What happens is when you lose your health, work becomes the things in your life that you always took for granted. Putting on your socks, getting dressed, going to the bathroom, can't drive, depending on other people. Uh, j just think, um, you know what it's like to be in pain 24 hours a day? That's a shitload of work to be in pain, all right? All this stuff that people said, all the preventative stuff, such as eating better, taking care of their spine, all the preventative stuff that they thought was too expensive, that was just too much work and uncomfortable, and man, the money. But you don't understand, it's like, if you don't take care of the problem, you don't escape time. You lose the time, so you're still dealing with time, and work. Now you're gonna work so hard on things that you never knew could be work, like going to the bathroom, putting on your clothes. Uh, you're working to fight for your life. Someone who has cancer, they're working to fight for life. Or listen, someone who's diabetic or has heart disease. Hey, listen, you worked hard for 30 years eating sugar and not taking care of yourself. So that hard work of not doing the right thing, now you're fighting for your life. You cannot even walk up a flight of stairs after heart surgery, right? So all these things are going on. And then finances, when you lose your health, you lose all your money. You're in debt. It's the number one cause of medical debt. It's the number one cause of bankruptcy. So. That's why when it, let, let's, let's future pace, let's back over here. So when you see the problem, anything. So if you want health, automatically say, listen, I want health. That is a goal of my life. I know what it is. So it's going to take work, a lot of it. But this hard work I put in now, I'm not going to have to work hard to go to the bathroom later on. I'm not going to have to work hard to put on my clothes. I'm not going to have to work hard because I'm in pain. And pain is working hard because imagine like you can't, sleeping is working hard. Um, also, when you're sick, you can't work, right? So that's hard work when you can't work. And for those of you who lost your job due to health, you know what I mean. Like you lose your health and you don't, you can't work and that is hard work because you can't work, right? Because everything becomes work. You lose the time and then finances, then you don't have the finances because now to fix it through surgery, medication, loss of income, loss of uh, just, just, and then just the quality of life gone. See, so you never escape time, money, and work. It's all there. But now let's say you do take the time. So let's say it could be health, relationship, your business, and your finances. So you, you say, listen, I want to have a great business. I want to have a great relationship. I want to have a great healthy body and I want to have my finances, finances to be great. So if it's your finances, you know, it's going to take time to build what you want. It's going to take a lot of work. You're going to have to work hard. And you know what? It takes work to have to save 10, 20%, 30%. I don't have 10, 20, 30%. Yes, you do. Just skimming off the top, right? And learn and, and then start to cut from other areas that you really didn't need, right? So all these other things. And you know what? It's going to take money to save the money. You know, if it's a relationship, it's gonna take time, it's gonna take work, and it's gonna take a lot of money. If it's your health, time, work, a lot of money. But all these things, you're getting what you really wanted. It's because the thing is, you're never gonna avoid it. So if you don't put the time, the work, and the money in right now, then you're gonna, it's gonna be taken away from you, not according, not on your terms later on, guaranteed. Like, like what I'm afraid for anybody listening, I'm afraid for anybody out there who thinks there's an option C. Option C is, well, I'm not going to take care of my health and my relationships, so I'm not going to put in the work. So they don't work, and maybe it'll just stay the same. That's the biggest delusion of all, right? So what happens is then it crashes, or I'm not going to put the time into it, or I'm not going to invest in it, thinking that if I don't, it'll just stay the same. There's no option C. There never is. There never was B. Option C is just like the term someday. Someday is the eighth day of the week. Option C is the thing that never happens. And so knowing now, hey, listen, whatever journey we embark on, I don't care if it's a new business, if it's your health, if it's your finance, your relationship, or, or whatever you're doing, just say, listen, if it's your job, we were talking yesterday about skills, right? 
Um, now, you know, right here, Robert says, cannot ask broke people how to make money. Cannot ask sick people how to, well, I love it. So Robert, he said right here, cannot ask broke people how to make money. Cannot ask sick people how to get well. Teach value for health and how chiropractic care can be a part of a healthy, wealthy lifestyle. So he's just saying that, absolutely, you know, a lot of times people are in a situation. So the, the thinking, Robert, like you said, the thinking of, I don't have the time, or I don't have the money for my health, or whatever that is, or I don't, well, I don't want to work hard. That that equation of thinking got them to that poor, got them to the place where they don't think they have it. So that same level of thinking is going to continue to get worse and worse and worse. So something has to change. But when you realize it was just, it's so freeing to know. But I know it's tough because when you go look online. When you go look on TV, because you know we were in Vegas, so we were in Vegas, so everything was free, fast, like four ninety five prime rib, four ninety five prime rib, four four dollars and ninety five cents prime rib. So the thing is like, wow, a, a buffet, right? So fast food, cheap, and and the only work is going on the buffet line. So you know these are all the things. You know it's it's you want to do that, but in reality is, man, are you still going to pay for it later on? So once you understand, hey, listen, it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of money even after invest and even after borrow for it. But if I don't, I'm going to, it's going to cost so much time, money and work later on. And we, we've all borrowed money for things that we haven't needed, right? We have all spent money on things we haven't needed. We've all, uh, put things on a credit card that we really didn't need. So, you know, that, 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 that in, the investment comes from that you don't need the cable. Uh, channels. You don't need all these other things. So focus on the family. Focus on, that's a show, is it focus on the family? Focus on your family. Focus on your health. Focus on getting your financial secure. And then focus on your business, the things that'll produce and keep that wheel going. And you focus on there and you put your time, your work, and your, and, and your money into those. And that'll build that healthy, strong foundation that all that will affect all the other areas. So then you could start enjoying those other things. So you should be able to go out and get the things that you don't necessarily need, right? But the thing is, but when I look at people who say, you know, the other day they said they, they, uh, they said they didn't have the money to take care of their health. And they went and they went to their car, they got a pack of cigarettes, which is what, like eight, 10 bucks. And they went to Starbucks because there was no value there, right? So the thing is that it's that same pattern. So it was just on my uh, heart today, just when I was uh, thinking and doing my little quiet time that we'll never escape and looking, going to Vegas and seeing how everything advertised was, you know, it's really fast, so it's not gonna take a lot of time. You don't have to work at all, and it's gonna be really, really, really cheap. It's the biggest delusion of all. Um, it's robbing Peter to pay Paul, and it's, there's a delusion there, there's always a catch to it. So just in, in anything you do that's worth something in your life, that's gonna be something that lasts for a long time, like a house, you know, just, I think of it like a house, you know, when you put the time in, when you put the work in, when you put the, you invest in the proper qualities, whether it be your body, your, your relationship, you'll have something that'll last a really, really long time. And you'll never have to learn the hard way. And I just, I, you know, I guess it's been, you know, practicing 12 years and I've seen over 16,000 people. I've seen, I'm, I feel like I'm a, a gypsy or a genie, no genie, or a psychic, one of the three. Um, cause I've seen so many, I, I know how it turns out. I got the crystal ball. I've seen it cause I know what the pattern does to people's life. But that person who has the ability to future pace to say, Hey, listen, my actions today, my future self will thank me for uh, a patient said that today. He said, listen, you know, I'm doing things, these things now. So one, two, 10 years down the road, I'll appreciate what I did today. And I love it. I'm like, he had a gift of future pacing. The fact that the time and the work, it is time, it is work, it is investing, but he knows, listen, he goes, I'm doing this for the future me, because the future me is gonna be really happy about what I'm doing right now. I'm like, if the world could get that, the fast food stuff would go away, the scarcity would go away, and we would start investing in the greatest asset, which is ourselves, and not giving it to people who's trying to give you some, uh, fast, fast, quick thing going on. So hopefully that, that, uh, that invest, uh, that, not invest, I'm looking at Timothy's, uh, Tim Radcliffe said, an investment in yourself is an investment in the future of all those in your circle of influence, 100%. So hopefully that was a blessing to you guys and thank you guys so much. Make sure you're on our Instagram, it's Dr. Zeno and Facebook page. Make sure you like this and share this because really, I mean, think about it, like we'll never escape time, the law of time, work and money. 
because if you don't put it in now, it's going to get you later on, right? So just so the so the cool thing is, it's like you're cornered. <laughs> so you're cornered. Be like, well, I'm going to have to work at it, and I'm going to have to put some time into it. And man, it is going to cost a hell of a lot of money, but. I'll get it. I'll borrow it. I'll do whatever I have to do. It's but like like when you come to, to to but it's like I'm doing it now. It's an investment. It's you know just it's something where when you come to terms and understand the logic of it, then you get to really reap the amazing benefits. Because what happens when the diagnosis hits? No one plans on getting diagnosed with heart disease, and then it's a hundred thousand, two hundred. Like like no one's thinking about that. So the, if you don't want to think about that, and that takes a lot of work. You know, or just, you know, you know, get, you know, moving around in a wheelchair, trying to go to the bathroom and you can't even move. That's a lot of work. Losing your job is a lot of work. That's why I do the things today. So the best time to plant a tree, just like take care of your health, your relationships, your finances, your business is to start now immediately. So, um, like I told my wife, you know, when, when it comes to the new, we are hero stuff, it's like, it's all an investment for the future. And it is going to, it's like, there's no, I can't escape the time and the work that's going to have to go into it. So now when it does come into your, uh, your new thing, let's say your work, let's say becoming a hero where you're at, or let's say you're ready to start something. Many of you, many of you guys want to make a leap. You're ready to make the leap, right? So it's very easy to put the time, the work, and the uh, investment in when it's something that you're really, really excited about, right? Because then, then you logically, uh, you're, you're emotionally involved and then you back it up by logic. So this is why, you know, when you have that thing that you're excited about and you want to do it and, you know, you got the support of the family and everybody's ready to go, uh, enjoy that process. Don't get scared. You know, just do it because if you're excited about it and you put the time, the work and the investment in, it's always going to pan out correctly versus regretting and not doing it, losing time, uh, thinking about it, not putting energy behind it and, and, and you know, and then living with regret. Jim Rome always used to say, um, what was that? A little bit of discipline weighs ounces and regret weighs tons. So have a great day. Thanks for watching 15 Minute Fuel. Uh, please share this, like it, uh, send it to friends and family, and we will see you guys tomorrow. It'll be Thursday with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day for your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.